Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Tatiana's Tiny Zoo. I'm Tatiana and today we are going to be talking about a common houseplant pest called thrips and more specifically how you can get rid of them. If you're an avid houseplant collector like I am, you've probably already heard of this pest, but if you haven't, I'm crossing my fingers for you and sending you all the good vibes so that you never have to deal with them in your collection because they really are a pain. So what are thrips? Thrips are tiny little insects that live and feed on plants. That's why they're such a problem in houseplant collections. There are over 6,000 different species of thrips, but the most common ones I've seen on houseplants are these tiny white or black specks, about the width of a sewing needle, sometimes a little bit smaller. These insects technically do have wings, but the ones that we find in our houseplants don't fly very well, so you generally won't have to worry about them buzzing around your house. If you do have annoying pests flying around your house and in your face, um, those are probably fungus gnats, and I did release a video recently on how to get rid of fungus gnats, so you can check that out as well. Thrips damage our houseplants by living right on the leaves, and then they will suck the juices right out of your plants. A small infestation will only stress your plants out a little bit, but if you let your infestation get bad enough, it can kill your entire plant or your whole collection. And we definitely don't want that to happen, at least I know that I don't. Before we talk about getting rid of thrips, let's talk about how you guys can identify them at home. They mainly like to hang out on the underside of leaves, but in my collection I did see them on both top and bottom of my houseplants. They also really like new growth. That soft new tissue of a freshly unfurled leaf is much easier for them to penetrate and suck the sap out of than an established or thicker leaf. So what happens to your plants during an infestation? Well, the first thing I noticed on my leaves was this yellow or brown patchiness in some spots. And it almost looked like the leaves themselves were dirty, but when I went to clean them, I wouldn't be able to rub that stain off. They didn't look dry or crispy at all at this point, but they did have that discoloration on them. And that is from the thrips actually sucking all of the life and juice out of that one spot on the leaves. You might also notice uh, white or silvery streaks or lines on your plants. I didn't really notice this on mine, but I have seen it in other people's thrip infestations. Eventually, your plants might start to droop or wilt and look really sad. You might notice this on your most sensitive plants first. For example, I noticed it on my Monstera that it really started to droop and get affected much more intensely than some of my other species that I have. Now, to get rid of this pest, we really have to understand the life cycle of a thrip because it is really important to the treatment methods that we are going to use so that we can successfully eradicate them from your collection. Thrips can reproduce asexually, which means that a female doesn't need a male to be able to lay eggs and reproduce, which is a little OP if you ask me. And because one female can continue to lay eggs without the, the need of a male, and she can lay over 80 eggs at one time, your infestation can get out of hand very quickly. The eggs are laid in the soil of your houseplants and they will hatch within a few days. The wingless larvae that hatch from the eggs are called nymphs, and that is what you most commonly will see on your houseplants. Eventually, the nymphs will drop back down to the soil of your houseplants to pupate, and then they will emerge after a couple days as that fully formed thrip fly uh, that we know. If the weather is warm or all of your houseplants are in a really hot and humid room like mine are, the entire life cycle of a thrip can last 16 days. So that means every 16 days, you could have 80 new babies and potentially more um, laying eggs if your infestation is really getting out of control. And because their life cycle is so fast, you need to use your treatments more than once. You need to repeat that treatment to get rid of them um, over the course of several weeks, potentially to a couple of months. And that's because even if you don't see the larva or the fly form of a thrip on your plant, there could be dormant eggs or pupa in the soil still um, that are taking a couple days to hatch back out. So if you don't treat your infestation over the course of a couple of weeks repeatedly, it might look like it's getting better and then get out of control again. So now to the important question, what treatments should we be using to get rid of our thrip infestation? Well, there's a lot of options out there on the market, but before picking one, I do recommend picking two or three treatment methods and cycling through them over the weeks or months that you are trying to get rid of your infestation. 
This is because thrips are one of the rare pests that can actually develop immunities to different treatment methods that you will use. And then over time, if you just use one treatment method, you'll have these super thrips that won't die or be affected by that treatment anymore. So I recommend picking two at least, um, maybe even three to try and get rid of those thrips without them becoming immune to whatever treatment you picked. Now, before we talk about the exact products that I use to get rid of my thrip infestation, I do wanna ask you guys to leave a like or a comment on this video if you are learning or enjoying the content that I create. It really helps smaller content creators like myself. And if you wanna see more content about houseplants or even exotic pets like reptiles, consider subscribing to my channel as well. Thank you. Anyways, the very first product that I used for my thrip infestation was neem oil extract. Um, and that is because I already had this on hand. You can use it for a lot of other pests. I use it in my fungus snack journey and things like that. And I use it in my garden for aphids as well. This is an organic product, so it's not harmful to you or any pets that you may have. And you can buy large concentrations of it that you can dilute with water. And then this one bottle will last a very long time. So you dilute this in a little spray bottle and then you spray the leaves of your house plants with it. This is the first product that I used to battle my thrip infestation. Now the other product that I did interchangeably with neem oil is this Captain Jack's Dead Bug. This product is not organic, so it is a little bit more intense. It's an actual chemical that is used as a pesticide to kill a very wide variety of different bugs. You can also use this in your garden, but for house plants, it kills spider mites, it kills fungus gnats, it kills scale. So you can use this as a treatment for a lot of different things if you have a big house plant collection. You do have to be aware, this probably isn't very safe to breathe in or get on your skin. So for me, the easiest thing to do was to move all of my house plants out into my patio and spray it directly outside, let the plants dry a little bit before bringing them back into my home and more specifically my animal room where I was really concerned about my animals inhaling vapors from this and things like that. Now, with these two sprays, I was spraying with one product about once a week. So on week one, I would spray with neem oil and then about a week to a week and a half later, I would spray with this Captain Jack and then the next time I would go back to neem oil. And I did that for about two months. In addition to those two sprays, I also introduced a third product that targeted a completely different life stage of the thrip. And that was this systemic houseplant insect control. It is made with some of the same ingredients as that Captain Jack's spray, but it's formulated as a powder. And what you do is you scoop out a measurement based on what it says in the directions for your houseplants, and you mix it right into that top layer of soil. And that way, when the adult thrip tries to lay eggs in your soil, those eggs will be affected and the larvae that hatch will also be affected by this product. So it targets the insects a little bit differently and it helps get your infestation under control quickly. Now between all three of those products, it took about two months for me to get that thrip infestation under control. So I want you guys to be patient and to continue to use those products. Don't stop after two weeks just because it looks like it's getting better. Because again, like we talked about, that life cycle can last longer than two weeks. And even though it looks like it's getting better, I want you to keep applying them repeatedly to make sure that none of those female thrips survive and continue to reproduce. If you're interested in any of the products that I talked about in this video, they are gonna be linked in my video description. You can go ahead and check that out. Uh, you can buy them at Amazon or at any local hardware or home goods store near you. I'd like to say thank you again for checking out this video and for supporting my channel. I hope this video was helpful in understanding how to get rid of your thrip infestation and I'm crossing my fingers for you guys, hoping that you never have to deal with it again. That being said, always be careful where you get your houseplants from because that is a really common way people introduce pests into their collections. It's happened to me numerous times and now I'm very cautious about where I spend my money and checking over plants and isolating them before I bring them into my full collection. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see ya in the next video. everyone okay no that's not happening hey what is up everyone
You guys are so much. Stop. Get off me. So if you have a lot of plants like I do, this might be something that you've already had to deal with. No, no, I don't want to deal with any of these dogs. I don't want to deal with them. No, no. I don't want to deal with you. Or you. Or you. Or you. Or you. I'm going to have to close the door. No. Is the lighting better, at least? 